Welcome to the Continuum Lab. The project that is the focus of this short video has a special place in my heart and I'm super excited to share it with you. It's not quite done yet, but I just couldn't wait. So let's get straight into it. One of the oldest projects here in the lab is the Open Horn MIDI system, which I call the OHMS for short. The uh, Open Horn MIDI system or OHMS for short from the Open Horn MIDI system of the Open Horn MIDI system. The open horn is my personal take on an electronic wind instrument, or EWI, EWI, which has a fascinating feature set, including a mouthpiece, which flexes to produce pitch bend, as well as several different biphonic playing modes. You can find lots of videos here on the channel about that project and about the open horn itself. Now, there have been many fully functional prototypes of the open horn, but when it came time to make a final sales model, I have to admit that I found that part of the process wildly frustrating. So for a long time, it actually seemed like the Open Horn MIDI system project was basically over and done with until now, because this past month here in the lab has been all about the Open Horn. If you've been following along over on Instagram, then you already know that I've been developing a brand new prototype ohms. I've been implementing new solutions to old problems, I've been packing the instrument full of new features, and I've been squeezing all of those features into a ridiculously small body, and this is it. So let me give you the lightning tour. Are you ready? First, let's talk about what's inside. One very important difference between this instrument and the previous Ohms models is that this one has onboard synthesizers and audio. There's both a headphone output as well as line out with 16-bit CD quality audio, which comes from the TNC audio adapter. The synths are based on wavetables, just like the ones in the Continuum Lab instrument kit, but higher quality and with several layers of filters and effects like reverb and distortion on top. There are currently 15 wavetables on here, most of them based on real instruments. Instruments, filters and effects, as well as all of the individual sensor settings, can of course be selected and adjusted in the menu, which is what this OLED display is for. And now that I mentioned the sensors, they all have fully adjustable settings for smoothing and speed, as well as a response curve for each one. And of course you can set uh, minimum and maximum readings and that kind of stuff, both manually from the menu as well as by automatic calibration. There's really a lot to talk about in the sensor department and I will be covering that in much more detail in future videos. And of course the original ohms features are still in here as well. One very central feature which sets the open horn apart from all other electronic wind instruments is the biphonic playing modes. Just like on previous models, there are three of these modes which can be selected on the fly without having to stop to turn one mode on or off. The sustain mode lets you set a pedal note which you can then play over with a separate melodic line. With the interval mode, you can play parallel lines at any interval selected live as you play.
And finally, the split mode lets you play two completely independent lines simultaneously. The breath sensor has seen a couple of minor changes from previous models and is now even more sensitive and responsive than before. And of course the open horn can still be used as a MIDI controller, freely selecting through the menu what MIDI channels and MIDI CC messages you want to use uh, with your synthesizer. So okay, that more or less covers what's inside. And what about the outside then? Well, the most obvious characteristic that I want to point out to you here is that the new ohms is tiny. It's 20 centimeters long, including the mouthpiece, 45 millimeters wide, and around 38 millimeters tall, including the keys. Next to the original uh, 2014 Ohms prototype, this new one looks absolutely ridiculous. Is it the smallest EWI in the world? Well, honestly, I don't really know about that, but I will bet you that it has the highest features to size ratio of any electronic wind instrument ever. But okay, so size isn't everything. What else is new? Well, one very cool new feature uh, is the all-metal keys. Most of the previous open horn designs used composite keys with several layers of metal and plastic, some 3D printed, some heat molded or handmade. I went through endless design iterations, but I was never fully satisfied. This new design is simpler, it's uh, more stable, it's much more durable and of course more attractive. So, the instrument body, the mouthpiece and the little menu selection wheel here are all 3D printed, of course, just four pieces for the whole instrument. The mouthpiece has changed quite a lot, but it still flexes up and down to produce pitch bend, another original open horn feature that I'm particularly proud of. And then there's this, the thumb strap. The thumb strap is also completely new and it takes the place of various thumb support designs from earlier versions. I originally made this change to help make the design as compact and pocket friendly as possible, which it did. But as it turns out, it's also super comfortable when playing. And what else can I say? There's still tons of details that I haven't mentioned here and a few things yet to finalize, like for example this prototype body, which is still a little rough around the edges. This crack is not supposed to be there. This screw goes up here. This switch is going away. This hole was just a silly mistake. Plus I still have to include battery power and the list goes on. But I do need to get back to work, so I'm gonna leave it right there. If you want to keep up with the final development phase of this instrument, plus all the other stuff that I get up to here in the Continuum Lab, then uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, blah, blah, blah. Take care until next time, and I'll see you in the Continuum.